China lashes out after U.S. warship, Coast Guard cutters sail through Taiwan Strait. A day after a U.S. Navy warship and a Coast Guard cutter streamed through the Taiwan Strait, China on Saturday lashed out against the U.S., calling it the biggest threat to peace and stability. A statement posted on the Chinese Defense Ministry's website called the move provocative, adding that it showed that the United States is the biggest threat to peace and stability and creator of security risks in the 160-kilometer-wide Taiwan Strait. China expressed firm opposition and strong condemnation. In Saturday's statement, China also called Taiwan as an inalienable part of China. Beijing will not tolerate any interference in what it called its internal affairs. Guided missile destroyer USS Kidd and Coast Guard's Legend class cutter Monroe sailed through the waters between China and Taiwan Friday. This was the eighth time that the U.S. Navy was sending a warship through the contested water. The ship's lawful transit through the Taiwan Strait demonstrates the U.S. commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific, a statement from the Navy's Japan-based 7th Fleet said. The 127-meter-long Monroe arrived in the region in mid-August for a month-long deployment. Earlier the week, Monroe was seen training with a Japanese Coast Guard ship, the ASO, in the East China Sea. The transit comes as China launched assault drills earlier the month at multiple locations near Taiwan, in response to what it called external interference and provocations. Warships and fighter jets, dispatched by the PLA Eastern Theater Command, had exercised off the southwest and southeast of Taiwan, practicing joint live fire assaults, and testing the troops' integrated joint operation capabilities. During the recent drill, Beijing had also put to use a large civilian cargo ferry to transport troops, weapons, and supplies, hinting at its ability to mobilize its civilian vessels during the Taiwan invasion. Earlier this month, officers from the U.S. and Taiwanese Coast Guards met to discuss improving cooperation. The U.S. State Department had also recently approved the sale of 40 self-propelled howitzers to Taiwan. The island nation had then thanked the U.S. for the sale, saying it would help maintain a rock-solid self-defense and regional peace and stability. Senior Pentagon officials had also held talks with the Chinese military for the first time since President Joe Biden took office in January to focus on managing risk between the two countries. China considers Taiwan a renegade province and has vowed to eventually unify Taiwan with the mainland, using force if necessary. This comes as top military officials in the U.S. predict that a possible military action can happen in the next six years. Meanwhile, the chaotic U.S. departure from Kabul has presented a golden opportunity for China, but testing U.S. resolve over Taiwan's independence would be a big miscalculation on Beijing's part, according to experts. Through its media, the Chinese Communist Party has been pushing the narrative that the U.S. is not reliable and that Washington would leave Taiwan in the lurch just like its Afghan abandonment, should Beijing invade the island. Beijing has waged a growing campaign of military intimidation and propaganda against the democratic island and recent efforts by China to undermine the Taiwan people's confidence in U.S. support are not surprising. But China would be engaging in remarkably risky behavior if it chose to use force against Taiwan.
The United States could be unpredictable when it comes to deciding to use force in defense of a country that's being attacked. It's useful to recall the South Korean example in 1950 and the Kuwait example in 1990 to grasp the possibility of the United States defending Taiwan. Communist North Korea invaded South Korea in June 1950, and within days, the United States came to the aid of South Korea without having any defense treaty commitment. The United States doesn't have a formal diplomatic relationship with Taiwan, but maintains unofficial ties with the self-ruled island under the 1979 Taiwan Relations Act, which doesn't include any defense commitments, although it does say any effort to determine the future of Taiwan by other than peaceful means is of grave concern to the United States. A military invasion of Taiwan by Beijing would cause severe supply chain shocks across multiple industries, as the island is home to some of the world's largest and most advanced chip foundries. The Biden administration has responded to the CCP propaganda, reaffirming the U.S. commitment to Taiwan. Jake Sullivan that he believed the U.S. commitment to Taiwan and to Israel remains as strong as it's ever been.